So recording my previous video about how to detect different tag types and things, I actually ran into an interesting problem with noise and the modification that I did to my Proxmark 3. So I kind of cut that out of the video in order to make this video uh, just to talk about you know why it might be a good idea to not do the popular modification to your Proxmark 3 easy, which is to remove the middle board. Um, I'll just show you what happened. If you have a card and you can go across both antennas uh, at the same time, you should be able to do auto. It's going to start with LF search first, and it doesn't find anything. Oh, wait, it found an Indala. What? Well, let's try this. Oops, again, type it correct. Ooh, that's very interesting. Why would it do that? Let's take a look. Okay, so you can see up here, it's got some raw data ending with Fs. Now it's got different raw data. So that's telling me this is a false detection. It's telling me that it's garbage. Yeah, it's, it's different every time. So what's happening here is somehow in the configuration of the antenna and the chip and probably other things around it and noise, that it is falsely detecting an Indala ID. So that's very interesting. So <laughs> uh, you might want to double check everything that you find just to make sure it's not just picking up noise as garbage. Oh, that's so, I love when this kind of stuff happens. It's so interesting when I'm <laughs> recording a video. So I'm going to use my flashlight on my phone, actually. I'm going to search around um, and look for, if I can find it, where the chip might be in this card. Oh, you can see right there, there's a bit of the antenna. It follows the perimeter. And, oh, the chip's right there, but the mag stripe on the back is obscuring the flashlight. So you can just see the edge of the chip right there. Um, so that's kind of telling me, and there's the rest of the antenna around the perimeter. And you can see the QR code there. Um, so that's that's telling me for sure it's just a single chip. There's no dual chip action in here. There's no like low frequency and high frequency, which those kind of cards do exist. But um, yeah, so just there's one chip. And uh, yeah, so we can take a look in there and it's just noise. So it's just picking up noise and, try, and identifying it falsely as Indala. And again, you know, different data every time. It's just noise. Oh, and then nothing detected. So I'm going to take the card off. We're just going to do a search. Okay, so here's an actual problem. Aha, and this is another interesting thing. So the fact that it's picking up Andala, which is sitting here, I'm going to move this away from other sources of potential noise, like over here. And it's still picking it up. So this might be the answer to an interesting problem or an interesting question. So you might notice, I'm still searching, still searching. You might notice that this Proxmark looks a little bit different from other Proxmarks. And let me see if I can grab a more traditional looking Proxmark. So this is my Proxmark I use on my desk. So this is a more traditional looking Proxmark. And you can see there are three circuit boards. There's a low frequency, there's this board, and then there's the kind of the main board. And I have removed the center board. I just have the low frequency antenna and then the main board. And the reason uh, that I've done that is that on the top here, you can see there's this kind of high frequency area where you're supposed to put high frequency cards, but the antenna for the high frequency is actually on the lower board. It's on, it's on the bottom board. So I just you know removed that center board and put the LF antenna there. But what it does is that puts the LF antenna directly over top of all the actual active electronics on the Proxmark. So what I've done is I've probably introduced a ton of noise where this board is probably has a ground plane there protecting the LF antenna from uh, these components. So, so they don't introduce noise into the LF antenna when you're trying to do a search. So I've kind of <laughs> borked my own Proxmark a little bit, uh, but I don't really mind because when I actually have a real LF antenna or LF, you know, transponder on there, it works as expected. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I think maybe I will put that board back um, because obviously I don't like to put noise and introduce noise where there shouldn't be. Um, so that's interesting. I learned something on this video. How about that? <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's how you would do detection on uh, tags, fobs, things.